Hi there, today I wasn't planning on doing a video, hence why I'm doing it on my uh, iPhone rather than on the normal video camera. Maybe it would be better quality on the iPhone, I don't know. Um, I'm wanting to talk to you about gin. Um, the reason I am bringing this up today is that on Saturday, on World Gin Day, we launched this. This is the Morris Gin Company St Andrews Gin. Um, this is a project that my uh, friend Simon Tardival and I are, have been working on for about nine, ten months now, I think, um, and we wanted to produce a gin that uh, would stand up to the heavy dilution that you tend to get from uh, barmen in gin and tonics. Uh, you know, usually they, they go with a sort of four or five to one ratio of tonic, and there's not really much point because you can't taste the gin, and you might as well be, if, you, if you've got a lovely gentle artisan gin, you may as well be you know, drinking tankery or something, which is much cheaper. So we decided to produce a, 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 an artisan gin that would stand up to that sort of really heavy dilution and, and was aimed at a gin and tonic. So we've got a lot of botanical extraction, lots of juniper and coriander and, and uh, grapefruit and burdock and Scots pine and things. And, and we also tried to harvest some of the botanicals in and around St Andrews um, and we've managed to do that and we think we've created a brilliant, brilliant gin. Unfortunately, another friend of mine, a chap called Danny Cameron and his brother Pete, have just uh, started producing a gin in Wales. Now, I don't have a bottle to show you. Um, this is the uh, this is as much as I have of it to, to do the tasting with. I have had a little try before. Um, and the reason I want to, to tell you this at about this is that I genuinely think it's the best gin in the world. Um, they've come at it at a very different uh, approach than than we did with with Morris. Um, whereas we aimed at the likes of um, Karun and uh, Rock Rose and um, you know um, uh, the Botanist and these these gins sort of as an everyday craft gin. Um, uh, sort of level of quality. What um, the Daffy Distillery um, with their pollination gin have done is they've come in and gone for the super premium level up against things like Monkey 47 and Ferdinand's and I think they've not only got there but they've got further and they have they have they've reset the bar on on um, on on craft gin. It's it, it is beautiful. The aromas, you get so many floral notes, you're getting, you're getting really pretty hedgerow aromas coming through, you're getting this wonderful savoury, herby, sage and bay leaf uh, aroma. Um, it's, it's just so good. Um, it's really beautiful. Um, it's just aromatic and it's, it's this sensory explosion that, that you just get, which, which is so difficult to put into words. It's just this very sort of elegant bombardment of beautiful aromas. Um, it's it's just so it's so, it it is sublime. This is this is beautiful gin. The palette has more of that floral note coming through. It's got more of this this beautiful sort of sweetness coming through from the, the sort of fruitier notes. And then again, that wondrous herby flavor comes through. Um, if you're gonna put this into a gin and tonic, be really careful with the tonic dilution. I think, you know, two to one or three to one is the most you want to go with it. Um, because otherwise you're going to obliterate all of those beautiful, beautiful flavors. In which case there is no point in drinking it. But if you're a neat drin drinker, drin, drin drinker? gin drinker this is what you need to be drinking it's it is beautiful um the morris gin company i will let someone else do the tasting of because i'm biased towards it but for future reference if 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 um i think this is very much a gin and tonic drink i think this is this is something that will improve the artisan tonics that you're getting nowadays and 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 will will do a much better job but really the, the, the Daffy Distillery in, in Wales um, have just reset the bar. They've done a brilliant job. Damn them. <laughs>